Will you walk into my parlor? Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I have a many a curious things to show when you are there. Oh, no, no. To ask me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can never come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? Said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, no said the little fly. For I have often heard it said, They never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed, said the cunning spider to the fly. Dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you are very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no. Can, sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, and how brilliant are your eyes. I've a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'll step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, for what you're pleased to say, and bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned him round about and went into his den, for well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple, there's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon the silly little fly, hearing his wily, flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then nearer and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue. Thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den. Within his little parlor, but she never came out again. And now, dear little children who may the story read, to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you never give heed. Unto an evil counselor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. <laughs> and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly.